Good afternoon, I'm Rusty Russell, and I'm so glad to uh, be with you again today. I'm here in Singapore, where I have been uh, the whole week, and I've just really enjoyed my time here. I have, uh, I spoke in the Rivers of Life Church uh, Sunday, as well as uh, Church of Singapore Marine Parade. And, uh, you know, it's just awesome, the, the different people that I meet, and, and uh, the genuineness of, uh, uh, searching souls who are searching for not just truth but but help you know I, I thank God that, that the Bible says in Mark chapter 16 verse 17 these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall uh, speak with new tongues they shall cast out demons if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall pick up serpents uh, they shall lay their hands on the sick they shall recover and in verse 20 it goes on to say that uh, the disciples went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them, confirming the word with signs and wonders and, uh, uh, and miracles following. You know, that's what I believe in. I believe in signs and wonders and miracles. I really, I really love to pray for people. Why? Because I believe our God is active, alive, and desires to uh, bring free uh, healing into people's lives. You know, there was... Um, a number of uh, Indonesian uh, people from, from I don't know whether they're from Jakarta or Medan or something, but they were visiting in Singapore. And it was after the Church of Singapore meeting I found out that, that actually they were not just visiting, but they have relatives in the hospital. And I was asking them to go to Singapore Hospital as well as uh, 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 NUH Hospital to pray for several people. And, uh, you know, when I said yes, I had some time on Monday morning, and I went there Monday morning to pray for them. And uh, it's amazing how, how God desires to help us minister. I prayed for a lady who's been 18 months in a coma, uh, unable to open her eyes or mouth or move at all on a respirator. And, you know, it was a desperate case. And uh, I went in and shared Jesus with them and uh, I think her husband and uh, her son had, had the night before gave his heart to Jesus in my meeting and so as I was praying for her uh, and worshiping Jesus you know God did a miracle now uh, he uh, she opened her eyes she opened her mouth for the first time in 18 months uh, she began to move her hands and and uh, she began to come awakened now, she didn't become all the way awakened, but the next day, another Indonesian lady went to pray for uh, the same lady, and uh, she began to move her arms and legs and, and yawn, and, and uh, uh, she's waking up out of the coma. And we're excited about that because we believe that Jesus will bring forth a total healing. I also was in with another group of people yesterday, and a number of ladies, and, and uh, they were all having back problems and back pains. One brought her son whose, whose uh, arm was, uh, uh, you know, like this. And and uh, I can actually try to put that on, I have it on video, I can, I can uh, try to put it together and show you later. But, uh, uh, you know, and we prayed, and Jesus grew his arm out. And, and then he began to move his shoulders, and, and uh, he was obviously changed and healed and uh, different people with lower back pains and, and you know their legs were uneven and their legs grew out and they stood up and they proclaimed all the pain was gone. So we praise God. You know we serve a God of miracles and it's just awesome. Uh, let me give you a scripture here. I want to bless you with a word. You know why? Because when we read the word God loves to confirm the word in signs and wonders and following. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. For this reason we also, since the day we heard of it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work, increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance 
in the saints of light. He has also delivered you from the power of darkness and conveyed you into the kingdom of his son's love, in whom we have redemption through the blood and forgiveness of the sins.